Oops, I didn't realize it started recording. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to my Twin Flame journey. I am Shine, and this is going to be the June reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And be sure to check your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus to get additional messages. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so take what resonates and leave the rest. I also may be describing you or the person that you're dealing with, so apply the energy as it may fit to your situation. Also, in regards to the gender of the people in the cards, if it sounds like them, it's them. If it sounds like you, it's you. If you'd like a personal reading, all the information is below. If you can't afford a personal reading but still feel that I help and would like to donate to the channel, donations are greatly appreciated. You can also see how to do that below. Um, what we have here is what you're going to be dealing with for the month. This is the clarifiers. This is why, this is what you're thinking, feeling, doing, or want to do about the situation. The bottom row is the card. The above ones are the clarifiers. This is advice and the higher message involved. And I will clarify if need be with the Sibelis, but I probably won't need to because we've got clarifiers all over the place already. Um, but if I need to, I will. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I got a tickle. Well, what we have first is the Seven of Cups in Reverse. And why is the Seven of Cups in Reverse? Because of the Eight of Cups. So, oops. So Seven of Cups, you know, in the upright talks about choices. Um, but in the reverse, we're talking about illusions or coming out of illusions, realizing something about someone. And maybe we're feeling like we're needing to walk away. Um from a relationship. So it's always about relationships, right? <laughs> um, again, the reverse Seven of Cups talks about temptations, illusions, diversionary tactics. Views are illusionary, fantasies, unwillingness to deal with reality, a need to get out of the head out of the clouds. Again, we're perhaps coming out of having our head in the clouds. Um, Refusing to look within, pursuing unsatisfactory things. But, it says you're coming out of confusion, illusion, to focus on chosen goals with resolution and purpose, you know, setting intentions. So again, perhaps we're unhappy in a situation, emotionally unsatisfied, unsatisfied. Can you tell it's late? Unsatisfied in the situation, you know, walking away because we're coming again to an understanding about something. Something that is uh, obviously unsatisfactory. And that's why we also have here, too, the Ten of Swords in reverse. Again, tens are about endings, new beginnings. Um, and in the reverse, it's good because we're, you know, coming out of heartache or trying to um, and why we have the wheel of fortune in the reverse so again the ten of swords in the reverse is about recovery regeneration it's also about fear of ruin you know fear of being hurt again especially in situations where we're unhappy pain that must occur for growth and regeneration Mental transformations, reevaluations, and the eliminations of previous attitudes. Realizing again what's important, the positive aspect of this. Perhaps this is why again we're, we're walking, walking towards something better, or feeling that we need to. Um, you know, or it's you know resisting an inevitable ending because we fear fear the pain that's going to be involved, even though we're kind of seeing the truth of the situation. It's still carrying wounds from an old situation. Need to deal with them and, and release them still. So perhaps there's still some, some lingering feelings that, that, that need to be healed and transcended. And the why of this is, of course, the Wheel of Fortune reverse, which talks about, you know, things feeling out of our control or not having good luck in a situation or events that don't seem to be happening in your favor. Um, so again, 
maybe we're realizing something and knowing that we need to cut our losses in some way, feeling helpless, powerless in a situation, you know, feeling like we made poor decisions or facing the consequences of them. Again, learning lessons, we live and learn, um, trying to look for ways to turn things around so that it can be in your favor. Again, perhaps walking towards something better. It's trying to make the best of a bad situation. It's not a time for taking risks. It's a need to be cautious and assess your options and select the safest bet. You know, again, do, do what you feel is right for you in this situation. And then we have the Hierophant in the reverse. And why is the Hierophant in the reverse of the Five of Pentacles? So again, not feeling happy, feeling left out in the cold, you know, in a situation. You could have been married to this person. Hierophant in reverse could be, you know, maybe there's, let's see if I see. Yeah, we have justice here. So perhaps this is a, a marriage that's ending because we've come to a realization about someone or, again, finding that we're not happy in the situation. It's, again, about restriction, feeling restricted and constrained. Um, no longer willing to accept, perhaps, this, this restriction because we're not happy in it again. Um, questioning thing, questioning the relationship even. Because we are again feeling unhappy. Um, so it's about financial strife, adversity, unemployment, illness. So if you're experiencing any of those things, that doesn't help either, right? It's about, you know, loss, anxiety, um, losing sight of one's spiritual development to, again, don't lose sight of that. Be able to see the, the bigger picture of why things happen, perhaps, in a situation. Or, again, may, maybe maybe this something has, has affected you financially as well. Perhaps even if you happen to get a divorce and walk away, obviously that's going to affect your finances for some of you if that's what you're dealing with here. Um, it also can affect your self-esteem, you know, your feeling of, of, of self-worth or perhaps this relationship made you question your, you know, your, it made you not have any self-esteem or feel you were had any self-worth, feeling alone and abandoned, um, in need of support and comfort. And then we have the Empress. And so why do we have the Empress? Because of the star and the four of pentacles. So the Empress again, this is this is the wife. You know, so this could be you um, feeling like you, you need to nurture yourself. It's all about two new beginnings, um, nurturing things into new beginnings. The feminine principle, the earth mother, it's about creativity, art and harmony, luxury, beauty, grace. It's, again, standing in your feminine power, realizing your self-worth, your, self, your value. And if you weren't feeling valued, then you're, no, you're knowing that you need to perhaps embark on a new journey. Where we're taking care of ourselves. Um, it's also the university, uh, university, <laughs> the universal energy is about to intervene in your life. So again, this is this this is all, a lot of cycles are ending and beginning, and this is a time of change and people making decisions about their paths. Um, some people are trying to reconcile. Some people are leaving things behind and trying to heal and move on and be open to better experiences. Um, it's a glimpse of a miracle. It's also about good fortune and blessings worth receiving, you know, because again, we're realizing our worth and we realize what we, what we deserve and we want blessings. We want good fortune and we want perhaps healing or 
you know, if somebody's trying to trying to creep back in. We have forgiveness here. I don't see reconciliation. I, I see more a uh, seems like this is more of a, a moving on situation. The star again. It's about having strength within oneself, again, focusing on healing, trying to have a renewed hope and faith, having courage, again, for new beginnings, um, to embrace new opportunities. It's also about trying to forgive, again, forgive ourselves for not knowing better or forgive ourselves for staying in situations that didn't make us happy or try to forgive other people just so that we can move on. Um, it's also about renewal of self-esteem, trusting oneself, trying to have faith and belief in oneself, a call to destiny that compels you to go on, especially if we're feeling like we need to move, move forward. It's about transformation as well. Having a deeper understanding of ourself and others, again, having gone through a situation. And then we have the Four of Pentacles, protective, defensive, hoarding, holding back, tied up in one's own possessions. You know, this is also about fear, you know, or security, stability, you know, maybe again, tr try trying to get, a, a, get that in order, especially if we're leaving a situation. Um, it's also about having an inflexible attitude or resistance to change because we fear it might in fact, in fact, okay, I can talk now, please. Um, resistance to change because we fear it will impact our financial security. So again, maybe questioning how we're going to go it alone. Um, why this is happening. We have the tower in the reverse. The seven of pentacles in the reverse. Judgment in the reverse. Two of pentacles in the reverse. Six of cups in the reverse. Eight of swords. And the devil. I, um, we can't. <laughs> when you do these readings back to back, and it's just always, I'm going to say always drama, but there's always, you know, lying, cheating, pain, depression, anxiety, all this stuff. It definitely, it can feel heavy. Um, you know, the tower again is about delaying the necessary destruction and need to go through the difficulty in order to learn a lesson. It's important. Don't resist it, even if it's shocking and hard to deal with, because it's an important part of your life's journey. It's also being afraid of change, even though we may want it again. Perhaps unsure of how we're going to go it alone. Um, it's a need to think big and take risks, again, believing in ourselves. Renewing faith in ourselves. Um, we can be independent. You know that change is on the horizon. You can plan in advance to try to avoid the destruction ahead. You know, again, try, try to lessen the blow as much as possible. Um, it's also trying to avoid a disaster. So again, I don't know if somebody's trying to come back or, you know, not wanting to stay in something to, again, avoid further problems. Um, Because the Seven of Pentacles in the upright deals with, you know, checks and balances, planting seeds, waiting to see if they manifest. But in the reverse is the feeling of limited success, um, feeling like we may have invested unwisely, you know, or perhaps I'm sure if, if, if anything could be, anything can change, you know, if something will reap rewards, you know, don't see any long-term in this situation, you know, um, 
knowing also when to stop investing in something. Worked hard laying down the foundations of a relationship and now um, making, um, what's this say? Now, way, what? <laughs> may continue to hit, however, you may continue to hit blocks. You're feeling like things, something might be a waste of time. Um, and judgment in reverse, again, this judgments are about wake up calls. It's also about possible reconciliations. It's about passing judgment. Um, in the reverse, you know, maybe this is not reconciling. Again, wondering if something is a waste of time. It's about self doubt again. Um, also guilt. So if we're holding on to anything, we need to release that. Even again, forgiving ourselves, indulging yourself in doubt and self judgment. Your deliberation causing you to miss new opportunities that await you. The momentum has accumulated that could propel you further. Now, now is not the time to be cautious or introverted. Move onwards with pride and confidence. Or, you know, or opportunity might be missed. Perhaps it is the wheel of fortune also too deals with karma, karmic cycles. You know, but in the reverse, it's... Delaying a cycle from ending, possibly again, like with the tower here, but knowing that it probably needs to. Um, now, not allowing enough time to get to the heart of the matter and learn from our mistakes. Unhappiness, difficulties, isolation, consequences of past actions to learn valuable lessons. Fear of important decisions. Unwilling to accept change, so stagnation instead of growth, you know, reluctance to let go, which that kind of speaks about here in the Ten of Swords. It could be like letting go or reluctance of letting go. Um, but the Two of Pentacles, too, is all about trying to, you know, balance things, figure things out. But it, this is kind of letting, letting it go. Um, it's also financial disarray. So again, whatever you're going through here might, might have caused you financial issues or is going to in some way. Um, again, struggling to, to manage finances, feeling overwhelmed with the responsibilities, needing to organize and plan our approach. Um, And this is also a two, like I said, kind of feeling like we're drop, feeling like dropping the ball on something. Um, because may, may, maybe it's too much has happened in the past, or we don't want to deal with somebody from the past, or we can't get over everything from the past. Because um, we have the Six of Cups in the reverse, which deals with past people stuck in the past. Um, it's also naivete. Again, but don't beat yourself up over over thing. Everything is a learning experience. It's about clinging to the past, issues from the past that aren't dealt with, ideas or beliefs from the past that might be interfering with progress, especially if, if we're got some self love, self esteem things that we need to work on. Um, Because we're feeling constricted here in some way. A lot, a lot, a lot of mental. There is no. I say there wasn't a lot of cups because there is a lot of cups. There's three cups, three things of cups here, but everything's in the in the reverse except for this one. So again. I feel like this is definitely an unhappy situation that, that you feel somewhat trapped in. Um, Eight of Swords is about despair, lack of hope, feelings of restriction. Due to due only to one's intellectual assessment of the situation. Not an emotional and there's a way out, but the blindfolds are preventing you from seeing your way out. Feeling trapped by your own thoughts and perspectives and needing to look at things from a different angle. Look for the best path forward, 
that avoids victimization or restriction. It's best not to make any important decisions as thinking is limited and constrained by self-imposed boundaries. Choices are available, but we need to be in our right mindset to choose. So again, make sure we are choosing our next steps wisely. See your options and don't be a victim. Release fears and guilt, you know. Because we get freedom. Because right now we're feeling again bound, restricted, perhaps in some kind of toxic relationship here, karmic thing. Um, it's also the devil is a scapegoat, the person, the thing that projects their inferior side of themselves to feel better. Someone to blame their, their troubles on life on. Someone who doesn't hold themselves accountable. If you've been dealing with somebody like that, maybe that's why you want to walk away. Something that sucks the life out of you. <laughs> Losing vitality and life energy. You know, the longer you stay in it, the worse it becomes. Only crisis can break it, and that's that's, that's the tower. <laughs> I mean, we're trying to avoid that because we fight to hold on and fight to let go, right? You know, feeling hopeless again. You need to take back your power. Unhealthy bonds. But we don't want any healthy unhealthy bonds. And what are you thinking, feeling, doing, or wanting to do in regards to the situation? We have loss. We have scandal. The loss is the card. Why loss? Because of scandal. The master. Jealousy. Clarity. And friend. So either, again, like I said, maybe we're wondering if we should cut our losses. You know, in regards to this situation, the master is somebody who could be kind of domineering, could be abusive, although I don't see any like, but still, it's, it's toxic in some way. This could also be us trying to become a self-mastery, you know, using logic in regards to what we're thinking and feeling in regards to a situation. You know, jealousy can deal with either people wearing masks, because um, the devil is also about deception, too, in some way. I don't see, well, the troubleshooter. That's another card that could be deceptive. Dark-haired man, again. So there's definitely some something going on here. Um, you know, this, again, could just be even our, our own fears. Trying to gain control over ourselves and our choices of what we're going to do next. Trying to gain clarity. And friend could be... Obviously, when you're in a relationship with someone, this is your best best friend, too. Um, I don't know if there's any other parties involved in the situation here. Third parties. And then because we've got a lot of a lot of masculines that are in codependent situations that are looking to um, leave that situation and go back to people from the past, you know. So for some of you, you know, this might be a case as well. You know, maybe you're finding out some truth. You're on, you know, the situation was unhappy. You feel like you made a mistake. Maybe you rushed into something um, that didn't turn out. To be something to make you happy, you know, feel like that's why we're in, in our shoulda, woulda, couldas, or regrets, or again, maybe we're getting some information and maybe we're feeling jealous um, because a relationship is going to end. You're finding out someone was being deceptive in some way, hiding some things, maybe involving again a third party. For some of you. 
or it could be what I said the first time. And then we have talent. Why do we have talent? We have storm, the lady, and stop. Look, listen. So talent is, again, is, is trying to figure out a way how to weather the storm, trying to use our intuition, trying to pay attention to the details, figuring things out, our next steps, how we feel, what we want, what we're going to do. And then we have the lovers, which again is dealing with the relationships, or this could be again a, like a decision that's needing to be made. And we have bad news, and we have forgiveness, and we have power. So bad news could be bad news, getting bad news. Um, or this can be just again worry. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, you know, wondering if we can forgive somebody. Power, I'll clarify that one because this can be your own personal power, trying to find your own personal power, even. But I'll clarify. We have dark haired man. Why dark haired man? We had wisdom, troubleshoot, surprise, brown haired woman. So dark haired man again could be someone who's shady, deceptive, all of that. Dark haired man could also be, because then we have the devil here too. Dark haired man could also be, you know, the shadow aspects of somebody anger, resentment, jealousy, um, fear. So. That could be a person that you're dealing with, or you could be the dark-haired man. Um, and wisdom is, is, is trying to use one's wisdom, trying to use good judgment, or feeling like maybe we didn't in regards to the dark-haired man. Or you're, like I said, the dark-haired man who feels like they didn't use good wisdom or judgment in a situation. Troubleshooter is about, again, trying to figure out, just the same way as, as the lady, trying to troubleshoot disinformation or troubleshoot a way to communicate with someone again either you're the brown-haired woman or that's the person you're dealing with if you're the brown-haired man um, troubleshoot can also be someone who's scheming um, calculating now, maybe that was the surprise <laughs> that we've realized about this person or information we could have gotten that's kind of shifted our perspective on a situation. And then we have inspiration, mistake, good fortune, solitude, and justice. So again, trying to find inspiration, try, trying to figure things out. I don't, either Solitude deals with like the kind of like the hermit, um, but it's also could be you know being alone. You know I don't know if people are getting divorced and going to end up being alone and again and it's kind of just hoping things turn around for the better, trying to learn from our mistakes. I say pain is our greatest teacher, right? We definitely learn. My little hamster is running in his wheel. Let me see. Let me see power. Power. Jovine Fanchula in the reverse. But again, this is almost, um, this kind of reminds me of like the Nine of Pentacles lady. We have La Reunion in the reverse. We have El Vivido. We have Gran Signore and Dispiacere. So, El Vivido is all about regrets, you know, regrets of the past, thinking about the past. Um, it's also could be about 
like the forgiveness, same thing. Um, about a relationship that's that's kind of come undone. And Jivin uh, Grand Signore is someone in their 40s and up. Um, so this could just symbolize, this is, could be the dark-haired man, obviously. Um, maybe we thought somebody was different than, than what they turned out to be, and it caused nothing but sadness and despair. Um, or you're the person feeling sadness and despair. You're the Grand Signore having regrets about a relationship that's fallen apart. Giovine von Schuller, I think it's a loss, a loss of feelings for someone or somebody who's not. Um, hold on. Hold on. Feels neglected. That's what it is. So, um, depressed. Feels neglected. Again, like I said, the Five of Pentacles feeling left out in the cold. Or feeling again, no interest. Feeling no interest. That's why I was thinking about walking away. You know, from a situation it just doesn't make us happy anymore. You know, and there's sadness, obviously. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, regrets, all of that. Or again, you could be the person um, who, who lost someone due to Not good behavior. Dark haired men. <laughs> I said, I don't know if somebody was scheming or doing some things that they shouldn't have that caused things to kind of fall apart. But it wasn't completely honest. Or again, like I said, there are people that, that feel like that they maybe they. Somebody's wishing somebody would see them differently. Well, there's been there's been a love loss here. A relationship that's just doesn't seem like it can But again, for some of you, somebody might be trying to Yeah, there's people that is, is trying to have a new beginning. I mean, but it's it's possible. But I feel like again, this is more about people people moving forward. Justice. Hope. We have hope. Algraz Alquare, which is, you know, happiness, reunion. In Menya, this is the marriage card or soulmate or close relationship, strong bond. We have Elandra, which is the thief, but it's in the reverse. So this could be, you know, money troubles again because of this situation. Yeah, but still some are wondering if there's any hope. I'm unsure. Everybody's kind of like unsure of, of what to do in their situations. You know, wondering if things can turn around for the better still. You know, but there's a fear. Illogical.
Insurmountable problems, breach of contract, inhospitable building, you know, and, and living situations that have become difficult, negative manifestations in the home, problematic financial situations, again, So I said it could be possible some people are trying wondering still if something can be turned around for the better, but for some I think it's it's onwards and upwards. Stop, look, listen. We have Morte, which is the ending. It's at the death card. Um, it's also about being emotionally detached. And again, this is what I feel like we need to walk away. Or again, trying to figure out a way to weather the storm. And for some, I'm hoping again that it's not the end. Grand Signore, ending with the Grand Signore. Uh, it's about secrets coming out. Um, intimacy secrets. Secrets revealed. Yes, yeah, scandals uncovered. Confessions. Also, again, loss of money. There's definitely, I think, some financial stuff at play here as well. What is the advice? The map maker of destiny. Authentic purpose, inspiration, and free will. And the keeper of the scales. Fairness and balance. So let's see what this says. 24... When the map maker of destiny appears, it's a sign that you're being given an opportunity to transform fate into destiny. At birth, each human being is given a unique map with myriad paths that intersect with one another. Your map of destiny shows all the places you're meant to visit, places where you'll be challenged to evolve into the highest aspects of the self. Remember that you're a spark of the divine come to earth to experience itself in human form. As such, your path is unique. It's also somewhat preordained. And fate represents the events in your life that were meant to happen and that you can't change. Fate is transformed into destiny according to how you respond to your circumstances. Destiny offers you the ability to make great opportunities out of faded experience. So free will and choice are possible at certain points on your map. Now is one of those times. You're faced with a relationship or circumstance brought to you by fate. How you respond will lead you into your perfect destiny. Your ally may assume the form of a soulmate, come to heal your heart and be your companion. Perhaps your challenger makes you face the things within you that must change in order for you to express your highest good. Maybe fate brings you an ally in the form of a wonderful new project or a challenger in the form of a failed business. No matter which form they take, all are perfect, perfect expressions I'm sorry, of, the, of fate inviting you into your destiny. Pay attention as your map unfolds now. And remember that fate makes the map, but destiny is determined by the manner in which you engage on your journey. So again, everything happens for a reason. And if you went through something that was painful and difficult and you learned something from it, that was the reason. You know, it was about the lesson. It was about shedding that karma, evolving and growing.
Um, so whatever happened here was meant to happen. So the shoulda, woulda, couldas, and all these things. How long we stayed in it is, was our choice, but, you know, this relationship was a fated thing. It was supposed to happen for whatever purpose that came out of it. Um, Keeper of the Scales, 38. The Law of Harmony is enacted when the Keeper of the Scales comes to you as an ally. Align with her as the law states, making conscious choices that create balance in your life. When you do, you also magically align with the abundance of the universe and the powerful forces of synchronicity. This creates conditions and possibilities that lead to the fulfillment of your highest intentions. Harmony brings with the self. Oh, harmony. <laughs> harmony begins with the self and then resonates outward to others. You're in harmony with yourself when you nurture yourself with love, respect, and acceptance, always fully taking responsibility for your actions. That's where the, the Empress is up there. Nurturing yourself with love and respect. Only then can you be in harmony with others. This is because love is the central force that connects all of all of life and aligns you with like-minded others. Another message is restoration and the positive fair resolution in all disputes, including those involving the legal system or other important exchanges. The keeper of the scales is just is a just and kind ally, always making sure balance is activated on your path. So I said I know some people are going through, you know, divorce situations. Um but don't, don't, whatever, whatever your situation is, if, if you're moving on or whatever, make sure that you do what you feel is in the best interest for yourself based on the experience that you went through. And we have here healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. This again just could be healing this family. Um, again, if you were married or in the relationship this is also again just reiterating the whole what did love look like to me as a child and this is why I find myself in these situations because again it's some kind of karma some kind of wounding some kind of lesson that we're needing to learn that probably stemmed from childhood and it's about you know healing that karma forgiving even even perhaps poor role models that we had in regards to love and be open to new love as a new person has stirred your romantic feelings so again this could be moving towards new love after a bad experience or perhaps if there is a possibility for some kind of reconciliation um, and we're uncertain about it you know the recommendation is to try to heal the situation and maybe be open to a new beginning. Learn. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. And getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. You know, perhaps. But again, I always tell everybody, know what you're dealing with. Make sure we don't repeat things. Avoid disasters. <laughs> And forgiving and learning again, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. And then religious factors, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and your spiritual path. Again, if your spiritual path could have been, you know, a marriage that was meant to happen, or you're dealing with a soulmate situation, or again, it's all part of your journey, all part of your path. Again, faded events meant to happen. Um, so try to forgive and learn. And we have let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. So maybe if, if you're worried about finances or if you're worried about starting over again, perhaps ask for assistance from, from, from friends. Um, don't be afraid to reach out to help you into the next things. Or <laughs> sometimes I ask spirit, I'm like, are you the friends that you're referring to in this card? Are you trying to say, let us help you? <laughs> And sometimes they say yes. So maybe this could also be spirit. Let your friends help you. Guide you through this situation. 
And then we have family. I pray for my family and give the situation over to God for answers, support, and healing. And then we have tenderness. I am both gentle and powerful. And then we have signs. I watch for, notice, and trust the signs that heaven continuously gives. And then we have faith. I have faith in God to heal the situation. Again, renewed faith, trying to have renewed faith. And devotion. As I fully commit to my values, relationships, and God, I am clear about what to do next. You know, again, be devoted to yourself first and foremost. Again, do what you feel is right for you. Um, be devoted to your healing, to your path, to your future. You know, have faith. We'll listen to your intuition. We have the lady over here, the two good about using your intuition. Watch for the signs. You know, perhaps there is an opportunity to, to heal something here. But again, everybody's situation is different. But regardless, you know, to thine own self be true, as they say. And on that note, I send you love and light. I wish you healing and luck in regards to this and anything else you might be going through. Please like, subscribe, and share if you haven't already, and leave comments. And until next time, take care. Bye-bye.